And today in this tutorial I would like to run you to, through the process of how you can set up your Galleon desktop wallet as well as how you can um, delegate your thesis using Galleon and your ledger now. Before you get started, make sure you have Galleon installed on your computer and make sure to have the Tezos app installed in your ledger. I will provide both links in the video description down below. Once you have this installed, you're good to go. Just plug in your ledger, open up Galleon and then hit connect with ledger. You see the selected path. If this is the first time you're setting it up, it's totally fine. You can leave it as it is in case you want to change it. Um, you can do so by hitting settings and then going down to over here and choose a different path. But worry not, if this is the first time you're setting it up, you don't need to do anything else other than hit connect with ledger. Then on your ledger it will ask you if you want to provide the public key. Since this is the first time it will create a new public key for you. And you hit confirm on your ledger and then you see your address over here, your Tesla's address. Your funds I mean it's a new address, so it's not funded, and all the actions that you can do, like sending, receiving, delegating, which we will take care of later. First, we need to fund our address in order to delegate, and there you need to, wherever you bought your thesis, I did so on Kraken, go over to Kraken, copy your address, and then send it over. All right, it took about three, four, maybe five minutes until the funds arrived, you can just hit the reload button over here um, until you see the balance that you sent over to your new Tezos address. Now from here it's quite a straightforward process in terms of how to delegate. Just hit the delegate button over here and then you can uh, paste in the baker address, the, the address of your the validator you're choosing in here. So I'm choosing my favorite baker, namely Staking Facilities. Um, for to get their address, just hit, just visit their um, website, stakingfacilities.com. Scroll down to Tezos, hit Stake with Tezos, uh, Stake Tezos, or alternatively, you can uh, directly visit stakingfacilities.com/tezos. Then copy the validator address by hitting this button, pasting it in, in here. You can. Um, leave the fee at low, it doesn't really matter at this, at this point, and then change delegate. Since you're using a ledger, you need to confirm this on your ledger, so always check what you are confirming. On your ledger, it tells you what type of transaction you are sending, because you're not sending tokens, you're delegating, and then just hit confirm. Once you make sure it's the right address and so forth, yeah, and then it shows you successfully updated your delegate, delegation update. And after a while, once this successfully went through, now you can see here that the transaction, the delegation transaction is still pending. Here you see um, the transaction that we just initiated, the one that sent over funds to your address, still pending. And after a while, once this is successfully um, done, you can visit delegated and you should see your your um, Baker address here as well. Let's wait a few more minutes until this is through. You can hit the update button again if you'd like. There we go. Now you see your address, your funds, and um, the Baker, your, the, your Baker address. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty straightforward um, process. Galleon makes it really easy. It's quite a charm to, to use it. So um, if you have any questions, just um, join our Telegram or drop the comment down below. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.